Can you believe it? Here we are at Biffleshook Dam and there are actually some large mammals. A vast herd of elephants. A beautiful sighting. Very special indeed. I'm thoroughly enjoying their Easter presence here and I'm very grateful for their well, very kind, confiding natures to come and say hello here and not leave me hanging as so many have before them. Isn't that lovely? Sort of three distinct groups that we have there. I suspect led all by one big female, although this is quite a nice indicator of how a big herd like this can split up into three smaller ones. And they are having a wonderful drink. They've obviously been waiting for this for some time. Now, so often, I was a little bit worried, they come down, they drink in sort of one minute. They'll be shove water down their throats and then get up and disappear. And thankfully, this lot are spending a little bit more time here. Wonderful. Not much of sort of part of the morning has started to set in, and the only real sound, of course, is the sound of their trunks dropping into the water and the splashing then as the excess that they don't manage to swallow falls back into the dam. They really are having the best time. And I don't think there's going to be too much in the way of swimming on account of the temperature. I don't think it's warmed up much since the beginning of this morning. And certainly the, uh, you know, the, the sort of relatively icy temperature is being brought on by a wind coming from the southeast, which tells me that, yes, this is a cold front that's coming through here. And I think it's probably still not much more than 16 degrees Celsius or so. No doubt the final control will tell me it's 35 or something like that. It's quite interesting to try and figure out who's who here now. Apparently it's 66 degrees. Fahrenheit 19 degrees Celsius at the moment. Well, it might be without the wind, I suppose. But if we pan off sort of, so there's one big cow you've got in picture there. I wonder if she's not the matriarch or the one with her face inside a Zizifus bush there looking for Easter eggs, I'm sure is what she's doing, wondering where her children have hidden them, or perhaps hiding them herself, so that they may enjoy the Easter egg hunt. I don't know how many of you still have Easter egg hunts. Um, I certainly, if I'm anywhere near my family, I insist upon it. My father was very distressed this year, yesterday when I spoke to him on the telephone. In fact, he sounded positively bereft because my mother said that she wasn't going to give him an Easter egg hunt this year, which uh, he thought was an absolute travesty of justice. And of course it's got nothing to do with this elephant herd at all. <laughs> 